Welcome back. The first cat that we have for you is Esme, and she is a beautiful all-black cat. Um, some of you may remember we've had Summer on the show a couple of times. Summer is one of our big girls, and Esme is, is also a part of that, that club. Um, Esme weighs in at uh, 16 pounds, um, but given her frame size, she's uh, more than a little bit overweight. Um, so she's on a bit of a diet special food that's um, going to um, help her lose a few pounds while she's here with us. But once she were to be adopted, it's important for any of her, uh, her, her new family members to find out you know, what her diet plan should be. Because she is a senior cat, she's 10 years old. So um, being overweight puts her at risk for a lot of illnesses that are related to, to weight. Um, diabetes being one of them. So it's really important to keep track of that. We've talked about it before, but food does not mean necessarily love for your animals. It's important to feed them the appropriate amounts of food. Just giving them food all the time um, can lead to problems like Esme has, like Summer has, like um, several of the, the cats that we're gonna have on the show today have where they're just um, overweight and it's not healthy for them. Um, Esme was previously owned. She was owned by a family for about nine years and then they brought her to us because they said that she um, wasn't doing well with some household changes. Uh, not only did they get a dog, but they um, also um, started having a family. They said that Esme tolerates the children, um, but wasn't necessarily a fan. And that could mean a lot of things. Um, we do ask that every member of the family come in and meet with the cat. So if you have children, it's not necessarily that Esme won't get along with them. It could be that these kids um, were younger. Um, it could be that they were, you know, um, you know, petting her in places that she didn't like. They could have been chasing her around. We don't know what the situation was. It's important for every parent to teach um, their kids how to be respectful of the pets in their home so that the, the pets and the kids can coexist and, and all be happy. Um, as far as getting along with the dog, maybe if you have a dog, um, taking Esme home might not be the, the best situation for, for all involved. But when you're integrating new pets, you want to make sure that you're doing it the proper way. You can't just toss them together and assume that they're going to like each other. You want to keep them separate for a while, do supervised interaction, um, gradually increasing those times that they're spent together until um, everybody in the house is confident that everybody else can get along. All the volunteers say Esme is super sweet. She's kind of a, a little bit lazy, um, but she doesn't have a lot of, of room to move around. She just likes to lay in her bed and get lots of love and attention. Um, so if you're looking for someone that's going to keep you company, if you have a quieter house maybe, um, that's going to be a great fit for this senior cat. Um, you can stop in and visit with her um, Monday through Saturday. Those are our open hours to the public. As a senior cat at 10 years old, um, she would have a $40 reduction in her adoption fee as we have different rates for all of our seniors um, as far as discounts go.